Our quote for today is, I don't want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named Mama Thibodeau Landry, who can wrestle an alligator while reciting the rosary in Cajun French. Today we look at the great Saint Peter Chrysologus, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, born around the year 400 in Imola, Italy, died around the year 450, but in his 50 short years of life, he became a great bishop and of course now a doctor of the church. His nickname was Chrysologus, the word Chris, C-H-R-Y-S in Greek means golden, like St. John Christendom, Chrysostom is the golden mouth. So St. Peter Chrysologus is the golden word, the word logos, L-O-G-O-S, is the Greek word for uh, speech or word. So the Christian empress gave Peter the nickname, the golden word, one who speaks of the golden word because of his eloquence. As a young man, we know that he was baptized and ordained a deacon by Bishop Cornelius, and then he was the bishop's deacon and secretary. When he went to Rome, Pope Sixtus has had a vision that St. Peter the Apostle and St. Apollinaris, the second bishop of Ravenna, showed him an image of a young man that they wanted to be the next bishop of Ravenna in Italy. And so when the Pope saw this delegation coming, he saw this young man and knew that this was the young man in his vision. So he appointed Peter Chrysologus as the next bishop of Ravenna. Ravenna was one of the most important dioceses in the world at that time, along with Constantinople, Rome, and Milan. It was an imperial city, very important diocese. So Peter would become the bishop of Ravenna for about 20 years. And he had to overcome many of the, the pagan influences that were still there, controversies, trying to defeat the Arian heresy. But a new heresy crept up called the Monophysite heresy, the Monophysite heresy, which meant one nature. Mono meaning one, physite meaning nature. Eutyches, the monk, the abbot of the monastery, was a heretic who believed that Jesus only had one nature, a divine nature, and that his human nature was absorbed in the divine nature, that they were not distinct. For example, like if you drop Alka-Seltzer in a jar, it dissolves, right? So that's a, that's the image that he gave is that like salt dissolving in water so that Jesus really did not have a true human nature according to Eutyches the monk. So he wrote to Peter Chrysologus asking support of this heresy and Peter Chrysologus was very loving, very gentle, but also very firm and said, no, we have to follow the Pope, the Bishop of Rome, uh, Pope Leo, of course, the, the great at that time, and that we have to be faithful to the teachings of the church that Jesus Christ is, has two natures, a true human nature and a true divine nature united in the one person of Christ. We call that the hypostatic union, the union of the divine and human nature in one, that Christ is one person, a divine person who has a human and divine nature. This was eventually settled the year after uh, St. Peter Chrysologus died at the Council of Chalcedon in 451, when the Tome of Leo was read and the clear Christology was delivered, again, primarily from the writings of uh, Pope Leo and Peter Chrysologus, who gives us the true understanding of who Jesus is, truly God and truly man. St. Peter Chrysologus would die in the year 450, was declared a doctor of the church in the year 1720, and called the doctor of homilies because he's the patron saint of short homilies. Now, of course, in those days, a short homily was 20 minutes compared to one to two hours. Most of the homilies were a couple of hours in those days, but St. Peter Chrysologus would give the shortest homilies at that time, and he would be very practical. We still have 183 of his homilies that are able to be accessed and read. So his beautiful writings about the divinity of Christ, the incarnation, Mary's perpetual divinity, and encouraging people to go to daily mass and daily holy communion, something so rare in those days. 
So I encourage you to look up the works and the beautiful sermons and writings of St. Peter Chrysologus, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. So we pray today, St. Peter Chrysologus, pray for us.